10 raised to the power 3s minus 10 raised to the power 2s is equal to 10 raised to the power s. What is the value of x solution? 10 raised to the power 3s minus 10 raised to the power 2s. Let's bring this to this side. It become minus 10 raised to the power s is equal to 0. And this can be written as 10 raised to the power 3s can be written as 2s plus s minus this is 10 raised to the power s plus s minus 10 raised to the power s is equal to 0. Take note of this exponential rule that if you have a raised to the power n plus m this is equal to a raised to the power n multiplied by a raised to the power m then this can be written as 10 raised to the power 2s multiplied by 10 raised to the power s minus 10 raised to the power s multiplied by 10 raised to the power s minus 10 raised to the power s is equal to 0. If you look at this, you can see that 10 raised to the power s is common. Let's factor it out. 10 raised to the power s bracket. This divided by this, we have 10 raised to the power 2s minus this divided by this, we have 10 raised to the power s minus this divided by this, 1 is equal to 0. From here, there are two cases here. The first case is 10 raised to power s is equal to 0. And the second case is 10 raised to power 2s minus 10 raised to power s minus 1 is equal to 0. Then from this first case, we can see that 10 raised to the power s cannot be equal to 0. This is undefined. And the whole of this is rejected. So let's consider the second case. From this second case, note that if you have a raised to the power n to the power of m is equal to a raised to the power m to the power of n. This is equal to a raised to the power n m. Then this can be written as 10 raised to the power s square minus 10 raised to the power s minus 1 is equal to 0. We can now say let 10 raised to the power s is equal to t. Then we have t square minus t minus 1 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. Let's solve this using quadratic general formula. And quadratic general formula in this form is given as t is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. And from this equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 1, c is equal to minus 1. Let's substitute here. t is equal to minus bracket minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by minus 1 over 2 multiplied by 1 t is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 square that is 1 minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by minus 1 that is plus 4 over 2 multiplied by 1, 2. This is equal to 
1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. Therefore, t is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2 or t is equal to 1 minus root 5 over 2. But 10 raised to the power s is equal to t. Therefore, 10 raised to the power s is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2 or 10 raised to the power s is equal to 1 minus root 5 over 2. And if you look at this, the super s here is positive and here is negative. So this is less than zero. The whole of this is rejected. Now let's consider this as the only solution. From 10 to the power s is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2. Let's take the log of both sides. Log 10 raised to the power s is equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2. Then this is s log 10 is equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2. But we know that log 10 this 10 is 1 this is s bracket 1 is equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 therefore s is equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2. This is the value of s in terms of log. So s is equal to log. This can be written as 1 plus root 5 minus log 2. Then s is equal to log 1 plus root 5 is 3.236 minus log 2 is 0 0.301. s is equal to log 3.236. This is 0 0.51 minus 0 0.301. S is equal to 0 0.51 minus 0 0.301. That is 0 0.209. And this is the final answer. We can check to confirm if our answer is right or wrong. Let's check. To check, We have the given equation 10 raised to the power 3 s minus 10 raised to the power 2 s is equal to 10 raised to the power x. Then when s is 0 0.209, this is 10 raised to the power 3 bracket 0 0.209 minus 10 raised to the power 2 bracket 0 0.209. Is equal to 10 raised to the power, power 0 0.209. The right hand side, 10 raised to the power 0 0.209 is 10 raised to the power 0 0.209 is equal to 1.618. Then this is 10 raised to the power 3.0.209 is 4.236 
minus 3 raised to the power 2.0.209 that is 2.618 must be equal to 1.618 then if you subtract this from this 4.236 minus 2.618 this is 1.618 which is equal to 1.618 at s is equal to 0.209 which is true if you enjoyed the class please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe bye bye